So another thing that you may be interested in is uh, instead of focusing on individual cases, you want to focus on the cases, uh, group them, right? Let's say you want to find out gender. Um, you group them based on the agenda and try to find out whether there is kind of um, relationship or differences between the genders concerning the themes that you have created, right? So how do you do that? They had, um, you can use the metrics. To do that, um, you can go to Explore and click on Metrics. This is where you can uh, go to click on Row and click on the um, you so you click on Select and then you go to Case Classification. This is where you can choose the uh, what the variable that you are interested in. In this case, we are interested in gender. So you click on the plus. Uh, before the agenda there and then you can choose what you are interested in. So we want to um, compare males to the females uh, or with the females. So you click on OK and then you click on Add so that information will be here and then go, go to Column. You do the same thing. You click that, select and you go to the Notes, Notes where you are interested the themes that you are interested in or the notes that you are interested in. So you check them and then click on OK and then click on Add and click on Run. So this one will be focusing on you know, group in a participant into group, two groups, male and female. Now, So you can see that for females, they share seven significant information. So if you double click that, this information here, you can see the list of um, significant information that are shared between the two items, right? And then when you click on chat, you can see the chat here. Um, as I always say, I want the simplest chat. So I click on this one, I can get all a simple one. Maybe you can be able to do some kind of comparison. The balance, you realize that uh, females had more um, significant information compared to the males. So this is what you can help you to do some kind of comparison. But it's going to be a little bit different when you want to uh, use framework metrics to find out the significant information that is shared between males and females uh, with respect to the themes that you have developed. So how are you going to do that? There are several steps that you have to take. First of all, um, I received this <laughs> a lot of questions concerning this, so I hope you're going to pay attention to this one. Um, first, you can create, uh, you can group them. So what you have to do is you have to go to cases and go to uh, where you have all the cases, all the participant cases there. And then what you have to do is to right click on this, right, right click anywhere and create. You're going to create um, a new case called mail. Uh, okay, let's start with mail. And then make sure you check aggregate, right? It's very important because it will sum up everything information that you're going to put under mails or mail. And then you do the another create another one for females female and check aggregate and click on that so what you're going to do is that you're going to drop all of the um, cases that are belong to female into the female case and then once they belong to male into the male case so we are um, grouping it so you what what you do is that click on the first one and go to the second one I click on all the females I think I finished with all the females and then you drag it and put it into where is the female yes So you actually put in the female uh, case, and then you do the same thing for males. And 
and then you drop it that, uh, them into so now now I can compare um, males to females right um, in terms of the themes that I developed so you can do the same thing for gen, um, other uh, demographic variable maybe age group or educational level you can do the same thing if you want to do the same thing you have to first remove them from the uh, group and then delete the um, so let me see let's assume that you want to do a different one so you you go to, into the females and then select all of them and then you can take it back into outside the uh, that folder right all that um, group right so that it can come outside you do the same thing for the female and then you delete the case female case because we are finished dealing with them right if you want to do something like educational level or any kind of demographic information so whenever you want to introduce a new demographic information uh, if, um, you have to uh, bring it back to the original state by taking them out of their cases and then deleting the case right the, the case that the case group that you developed right and then do the new one uh, before you can do it, the framework metrics for you to compare uh, the groups that you have so um, let's let me put them back again so um, selecting them all of them and put them into into the female group okay so after that then you can go to create and click on framework backtrace and name you can name it where any kind of name that you want name okay, four and then go to row and this is where you select the case so you go to the case classification um now you go to cases click on here you click on that you look for where you indicate male and female so you check only this right make sure you don't check these places only check the uh, uh, case group that you are comparing and you click on ok and then you go to um, the next one column and then you click on the themes that you are interested in or the course that you are or the notes that you are interested in and click on ok So it take a little while to do it. Perfect. So now we have our framework metric view on dark so that you can see everything. So you can see that we have male and female, females and male, right? And then we have the theme that we are interested in. You click on auto summarize so that you can pull extract all the significant information that are um, connected to um, the groups and also the themes that you have. So you can see that you have, uh, ext you have extracted all of them. So this one, you can look at a trend and see what is really going on. You can see for balance, the themes, what they have in common. Um, you'll be able to explore and go through and see what is going on. Um, so that's how you're going to, um, and you can also export it as usual and click on right click on it and click on export and you'll be able to export that information. So you can see here that this is one significant information and it's, this is second significant information. So there's a space between to help you to know that they are not. Um, from one area so that's also another way of exploring and so you can explore and see what you can compare and see what is really going on um, between these two uh, sets, of, uh, sets of information so this is what I have for you um, if you have any question you can email me I'll be happy to address it for you uh, or you can just you know uh, put some information, you can ask your question in the comment area there and also you can subscribe to my 
YouTube channel. Um, I'll be providing a lot of information uh, to help you to conduct your research. Thank you for your time.